Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at continuing the playlist on bar modelling. Now one of the difficulties with this question is actually understanding the English part of this. So we're going to read it through, but when we actually come to tackling the particular problem, we're going to do it a little bit at a time. So Dion has half as many bean bags as Fred. Fred has a third as many bean bags as Sarah. Okay, that's the bit I think where it's a bit more difficult because it's saying that Sarah has 84 more bean bags than Fred. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to visualize, and I guess that's where bar modeling is really helpful in this sort of thing, which is all we're doing really is just trying to understand a lot of these words by writing down some pictures. So let's just start to model it a little bit. Okay, so let's have a look at the first sentence, and it says Dion has half as many bean bags as. Fred. Okay, well how many bean bags does Fred have? He's got a third. Okay, well if he's got a third then it means that Dion must have one six. Now the reason she must have one six is because that is a half of one third. Okay, so if she's got one six it also means then that Fred has two six and as you know two six is exactly the same as one third. Okay, so let's just look at that now um, as a picture and then from there we'll be able to find out how many bean bags there are in total. Okay, so if we start with Dion, okay, so Dion has got one six of the amount of available bean bags, okay, and we've said that Fred has two six. Okay, so one six there and one six there, and we've said that those two six together are going to make one third. Then let's look at Sarah. So Sarah has 84 more bean bags than Fred. Okay, so if we've got Sarah, here she is. Okay, now Sarah has this many bean bags. Okay, she's got an awful lot of bean bags. Okay, of which we know she's got that many, but also she's got this additional amount along here. And the additional amount along here is made up by the additional 84 bean bags. Okay, um, that it says in the text. All right, so let's now figure out or see if we can figure out how many bean bags there are in total. Well what we're saying is is that Fred's share of the number of bean bags is one third. Which means that this 84 is equivalent to two thirds. So 84 equals two thirds of the amount of bean bags. Okay, hopefully you can see that all right that this bit along here is going to be two thirds and this bit along here is going to be one third. So if 84 equals two thirds, it then follows that 42 equals one third. So if we just divide it through by two, okay? So if 42 equals one third, then three thirds is gonna be three times 42, which is going to give us 126 is equivalent to three thirds, which is, if you prefer, one third whole. Okay, and that's the bit of information that we need because that's the amount of bean bags that Sarah has. So in this particular question, Sarah must have 126 bean bags. Fred must have a third of the bean bags. Okay, so a third of 126 is 42. Remember we worked that out over here. So Fred has got 42. Okay, and then uh, Dion okay has one sixth of the amount of bean bags and if you remember that was um, the one sixth over here which is going to be half of the 42 so this will be 42 along here and half of 42 is actually 21 so Dion has got 21 bean bags so the amount of bean bags there are in total is going to be this plus this, plus this, 
and if we add all of that together we're going to get a total of 189. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. It does take a little bit of time to get used to the way that these questions are written. Sometimes could be quite hard to understand, but if you take your time and you try to model the particular question using something like this, this bar modeling idea um, will help you to draw a bit of a picture and then just work through methodically. Hopefully you'll be able to come through to a good answer. I hope it's been useful to you. Please Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.